So you want to do some side-by-side -side testing in your Windows 10 machine? How about this? Test an application out without hosing up that Windows 10 machine. Hi, I'm Wes Bryan, Edutainer at IT Pro TV, and I'm going to show you how you can utilize Windows Sandbox in Windows 10. One of the first steps that we have to do is ensure that our Windows 10 build is the right build, and that's going to be 18.305 or later. One of the ways that we can do this is just by inside of your instant search field, just go ahead and type WinVer, that's W-I-N-V-E-R, and hit enter, and that'll give you the current build version. I'm currently running the 2004 version, and it is build 19.041, so I have the appropriate build. Again, just make sure that your build is going to be 18305 or later. Once we have uh, confirmed that our build is the right build, next thing that we have to do is we have to make sure our BIOS uh, has virtualization enabled. So check with the vendor of your workstation and ensure that you boot into BIOS and you enable the virtualization settings. Once that's done, next thing we have to do, we're going to drop down to our apps and features and we're going to go ahead and get the sandbox turned on. So in order to do this, I'm going to close down our Windows 10 dialog box here. I'm going to right click on our uh, little Windows icon or our start menu. And when we right click, we get our um, quick links menu and we're going to choose apps and features from the top. Now in our Windows settings uh, interface here, in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice that there's programs and features here. We want to go ahead and we want to choose that link and that's going to bring up the traditional control panel. And when it brings up the traditional control panel, you should see programs and features. Now what we're looking for is in the upper left hand corner, you have a couple of jump links here. One is view installed updates and the next one is to uh, turn on or turn a Windows feature on or off. That's the link that we want. We want to go ahead and we want to turn a Windows feature on. Keep in mind that you do have to be an administrator on the local machine in order to perform this task. Then in the list, they're alphabetized, so we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down uh, to the bottom, and you're going to notice that fifth up from the bottom is the Windows Sandbox. And when we go ahead and just click that uh, little blank box there, it's going to put a check mark in there, and then we're going to choose OK. And when we choose OK, Windows is going to search the operating system for the required features to go ahead and install our Windows Sandbox. Now, it's going to take a second to apply the changes. When it applies the changes, understand that it's going to require a reboot. So we'll go ahead and we'll get to, we'll restart our machine now. And now it's just a really a matter of what we can see here is that Windows is actually going to apply those settings. It's going to turn the Windows Sandbox feature on. And then at this point, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to let the machine reboot. We're going to log into our machine. And the next step that we have to do is we have to go ahead and we have to uh, launch the Windows Sandbox. Now, one of the things that I want you to keep in mind in one of the great use cases is when you have a company that maybe is testing a certain application and you've already got one, the same application that is tried, true, stable, uh, and causes no problems, if you were to install the new version of the application, it would overwrite the old one. And let's say you only have one workstation to do the testing on, you might want to do the side-by-side -side comparison. And that's where the Windows Sandbox is really going to shine for us here. You can see that it take, takes a little bit, depending on the speed of your computer. It could be faster, it could be slower. We'll go ahead and we'll log into our Windows uh, 10 machine and we're going to get back to the desktop. Now one of the things I want to do is I want to verify what version of the uh, application that we're currently running. And what I'm going to do uh, to show you this test here is I'm going to use a little application called Notepad++. And if I launch Notepad++, you're going to see that the version that I'm currently running is 7.8.7. .7, but that isn't the current version. The current version is actually going to be 7.8.9. And if I was to install the 7.8.9, it would overwrite this version here. And in a testing environment, we might not want to have the, old, the uh, newer one overwrite the older one. So let's go ahead and see how we can accomplish this. Once we're going to close down our application for now, and then we'll come back and verify that we have a side-by-side -side comparison and that our machine here that has our current stable version doesn't get overwritten. In order to do this, we can uh, go down to our search field in the taskbar and we can type in Windows and we don't really have to type much more than that. You could type Windows Sandbox, but you can see there's a little Sandbox application right here at the top. And we just go ahead and launch this. It's 
Very straightforward. Now I will tell you the first time that the window sandbox opens, it might be a little bit slow. There are some prerequisites that you have to meet your host machine in order to run this. And we'll go ahead and we'll put that in the description, those links so that you can search that documentation out to make sure that your physical machine that you're gonna run the sandbox in does uh, meet those minimum requirements. Cause there are a few that you need to make sure that you have. Notice that it is taking just a little bit to spin up the window sandbox. And what's gonna be very interesting, it might look like inception here in a second because what was actually happening right now is Windows is launching up a virtual machine and notice here I have two desktops no don't adjust your monitor here that's what you're supposed to see notice that I have a start menu on my physical machine but now I also have a start menu inside of the Windows sandbox and I can launch applications inside it as well now let me go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to maximize our Windows sandbox here and it looks just like any other virtual machine that we would be running in some kind of enterprise environment notice that I have a start menu as well but that's not on my host, that's not on my physical machine's desktop, that's inside the Windows Sandbox. Now at this point, what I can do is I can open up the Edge browser if I wanted to, and we could actually, inside of the Edge browser, I could type in Notepad++, plus plus, and we could go to that website, and we could look and see what the current version is. So I'm gonna go to the Notepad++ plus plus site. Again, this is our demonstration application. And depending on the, uh, the amount of resources that your machine has, this could run, again, faster or slower. Notice that we are on two versions behind, and that's what's on my physical machine right now. But what I want to do is I want to download the 7.8.9 um, executable here. So we'll go ahead and we'll choose to download this, and you'll notice that it's going to download it inside a file explorer, and it's going to ask us, where do you want to save this? Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a save as... And I'm going to save this to the desktop so that we can verify that what we're installing inside of our uh, Windows uh, sandbox is that 8.9, uh, or excuse me, 7.8.9. And I'm going to go ahead and save that, and we'll close down our web browser. And I'm going to go ahead and close all these tabs here, and... Notice that we now have our Windows 7.8.9 installer. And I can go ahead and I can install this and it'll launch up our little point and click wizard. We'll go ahead and choose OK for our English, uh, uh, English language here. Just go ahead and set the language to whatever is appropriate for you. I'm going to choose next and I'm just going to walk through the installer process. And again, just next, next, next. I'll go ahead and put a shortcut on the desktop so it's easy to see. And we'll go ahead and we'll launch this application. Now, when we launch this application, I want you to know that inside of our Windows Sandbox, we are running version 7.8.9. And if I go ahead and just kind of minimize this a little bit, I also want you to see verifying that we're running both versions now. We're running one version on my physical machine. We're running the newer version inside of the Sandbox. And you can see now without overriding the old version, there's the old version, inside of the Sandbox is the new version, I can do side-by-side -side testing. Now, this isn't really um, um, gonna be beneficial if I was to close this sandbox down and it happened to overwrite the older application. So let's verify that that isn't the fact. I'm gonna shut down the older version and inside of my Windows sandbox, I'm gonna do a normal shutdown just like you would do if this was any other physical machine. So I'll go ahead and choose the power button and we're gonna shut this down and we should get a warning here. Notice that it tells me that the connection to the sandbox was lost. That's okay because it's treating it just like any other virtual machine. And I'm just going to go ahead, say no to that, close down the virtual machine. Let's confirm that we still have the old application and my physical host machine wasn't harmed, overridden, or infected in any way. So if I go ahead and I launch up Notepad++ on my physical machine, notice I still have the stable version that maybe my company was running previously, giving me the ability to do side-by-side -side testing with the new application without overriding the old. This is one of the great things about the Windows 10 Windows Sandbox. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out our playlist for more Windows 10 how-to videos, and also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.